Hello, my name is Riley Crew, and I'm a history major here in CSULB, and I would like to talk about the California missions and the residential schools um, and how they um, relate to the myths that Roxanne Dunbar Ortiz and Dina Giglio Whitaker describe in their book, All the Real uh, Indians Have Died Off. Um, so the first California missions were, uh, were established in 1769 by Junipero Serra. Um, keep in mind, these were not the first um, instances uh, where colonizers uh, forcibly tried to forcibly convert Native Americans to Christianity and uh, abandon, the, uh, not really abandon, but like, uh, but wipe out their um, their culture uh, forcibly. Um, but this was the first uh, major institution that sought to systematically wipe out Native American culture and society. Um, so many Native people were forced to live in the missions and uh, convert, as well as endure for, uh, forced labor, and in many cases, torture as part of their process of conversion. Out of the, the more than 87,000 Native people that were baptized, at least three quarters of them died due to disease, overworking, torture, and also for uh, many of the um, children, uh, neglect. Um, sexual abuse was common in the these missions, um, especially by many of the Spanish soldiers that, uh, that um, were, uh, that had barracks connected to, uh, to these missions. Um, and, uh, we also see the, uh, this, uh, similarly with the boarding schools. Um, however, the death toll is still, um, unknown, but, uh, it is that it is estimated that it is, um, a lot more than what was, uh, pre uh previously, uh, thought of. Um, but we can guess uh, by the testimonies of those who um, who were forced to attend these uh, these schools and how they describe the abuse and torture and uh, de uh, deaths um, indicate that this uh, cycle uh, that this um, cycle was rampant of uh, violence and abuse um, similar uh, in fact the sexual abuse was um, very common among the administrators, the priests, the teachers, um, may, uh, and then many, uh, all of these Native Americans were um, forced to uh, uh, abandon their their language, so they could not talk to their own um, people, uh, to their own parents, um, and many of them suffered PT uh, PTSD, alcoholism, um, drug abuse, uh, and are still healing from this. <clears throat> and uh, this connects to what Roxanne Dunbar-Ortiz and Dina Whitaker uh, talk about when debunking the myths that Native Americans were uh, savage and needed to be civilized. But in reality, the uh, this um, idea of like the savage Native American uh, is more of a, con a construct that was uh, that was developed um, by uh, colonizers and uh, because to them, anyone that was uh, unchristian was uh, by definition a savage or barbarian. And um, we are still uh, doing a lot of research in how uh, in the these residential schools and uh, we're still learning to uh, heal from all of this. So thank you.